All right, this week is something a little bit different. It is a repair on this bag. Uh, I purchased it from an Etsy store, which is no longer selling things. So maybe that is a uh, reason why I'm about to show you there's some poor quality issues. Um, we'll start with what I like. I love this bag. It's made out of recycled sailcloth. Uh, I purchased it in September of last year. I added a patch to it. Uh, and yeah, it's been really great for me as my office bag. The problem is I've already run into some quality issues. Uh, this is a repair that I made earlier in the year. Um, there's a seam that kind of totally blew out that I've had to repair along here. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not really dragging the creator of this. The I paid $130 for it. It actually feels like I got a good deal. Uh, I love the material that it's made out of, the recycled sailcloth. Uh, but clearly they had to cut some corners to make those that uh, cost work for them. Um, there's a mist, misaligned seam here. This is already starting to pull out. Um, so yeah, like I've said, I've already made some repairs to this and apparently I'm gonna make more because I would like to keep this bag going for a really long time. Uh, so that's this week. When you cut this webbing, you always have to make sure you burn the end so it doesn't keep frying. Now, Basically I'm just going to copy this the way it currently is, but first I'm going to tack this in place.
Okay, now that I've reattached the shoulder strap, now is where I can reinforce it with this new webbing. So I'm just going to do the same stitch over again. This time going over the new webbing portion. And then I'm also going to So I'm going to shift down and set this top portion on. Okay. Now I'm going to transition to locking this flap onto this arm strap. one I did previously, this one I just did. Um, trim up some thread and there we go. Should last a lot longer now that the force has been, you know, transitioned from this single stitch to all these stitches all across um, the really strong material. And yeah, pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna repair these other portions uh, here and here. And since I know that this joint is prone to failure, I'm going to also repair this one, or I'm going to also strengthen this one so that I don't have to repeat this repair later. So. Same thing, we overlap it quite a bit. And that second one on the other side. Here's the repair. Uh, it should be noted that I'm not a pretty sewist, uh, but you know, it does a job. That's not going anywhere. We'll have some threads that we can trim off, but um, overall, yeah, we're really happy with this. I think it's gonna last a long time. Last one on this shoulder is gonna be this connects this wasn't sewn on uh, straight so we're just gonna remedy that real quick I just want the top threads on the outside but it doesn't matter all that much here and then I'm going to stitch diagonal across switch to a straight stitch.
back in, locked in really tight. Finishing it up, uh, here's the end product. We got the two sides reinforced here. I fixed these as well. Make sure they're nice and secured. Also got the new bases attached. Make sure they don't pull out. I did that to both sides even though uh, the one side was still perfectly fine. Uh, so yeah, that was all the repairs that I made this week. And uh, so far it's gone really going well. I haven't seen any more seams rip. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep using it until it needs to be repaired again. Thanks. Bye.